It's not all, it's not all one-sided, man. That's why I love my wife, you know, because she puts up with my sh**, you know. I mean, I, yeah, man, I, I wasn't, when she, I, I love her too because she didn't leave. All the others left, all the other ones. <laughs> she, she stayed, she stayed for some reason and raised me up pretty good, you know. She, but she still puts up with my shit. I, I still fuck up, you know, I still, I still I'll, I'll tell you a story, man. We were in, uh, <clears throat> we were in Vegas in April. I was performing there at the MGM Grand and I invited my wife, yeah, I, was, I invited my wife. I invited my wife and of course she came, it's Vegas, you know, that's, that's how women are. If it doesn't include me, no, uh, that's how they are. Your friends could call about Vegas and you could tell your wife, babe, the guy's called about Vegas. Vegas, you think you're just gonna get up and go to Vegas? There's no money for Vegas. Uh, but you're invited, oh my God, I need a haircut? I need a new haircut. <laughs> we go to Vegas, me and the wife, and we have other couples we hang out with. That's what you do you, when you're married. You hang out with other couples, usually couples you can tolerate. <laughs> and hopefully they make about the same amount of money as you. <laughs> There's nothing worse than the broke friends that show up. You know, you're like, ah, f yeah. <laughs> I guess we're not having steak. <laughs> <laughs> and we did it up, you know, we did it up. My, my wife, my wife, uh, she, we went out, she dressed up very nice. She dressed me very nice. I'll laugh it up. She dresses me. My wife, look at uh, this outfit had a sticky note that said Saturday. <laughs> I'm, I'm her personal little builder bear. Uh, <laughs> she buys it, I wear it, man. That's the rule at my house. She, uh, she knows I don't like to shop. So what she does is she buys a bunch of stuff, brings it home. I try it on. She approves it. And that's what I wear. That's what I wear. Uh, she knows, I don't, she knows I don't like to try it on at the store. I hate that. I hate to try stuff on at the store because sometimes she makes me. And, and, and I, I come out of the dressing room like a mad eight-year-old. <laughs> Can we go? Can we go? So we're in Vegas with my buddies, and uh, we go out and get bottle service. You know, me and her, we get bottle service. We're drinking, we're having a good time, we're dancing. And then somewhere in the night, I, I lost my wife. Uh, I don't know, how, I, I, I told her I was gonna go play craps for a little bit. And I, I, I was playing craps, and I was winning. I was winning a lot, and I never win, I never win. But this time I was winning a lot. And, and all the men were winning, and we were high-fiving and screaming. We are yeah, woo, yeah, baby, yeah, heart six, and we're screaming. So you women don't get it. You don't understand. <laughs> women don't understand what it feels like when men win in gambling. Let me help you out, ladies. Imagine you walk into Macy's and everything is free. <laughs> your, 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 your vaginas would scream. <laughs> and, then, and then there'd be riots and dead people. But at, at first, uh, so we're winning. We're having a great time. We're drinking and we're winning and we're high-fiving. And then all of a sudden I hear, are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> and all the men at the table got scared. They're like, oh, is it mine? Oh, sh <laughs> One guy just left. He grabbed me. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> he just left. I turned around. It was mine. It was my wife. And she was in her pajamas. Free range titties out. She was pissed. I said, hey, babe, get over here. We're winning. She said, are you kidding me right now? And I go, what's your problem? She goes, my problem is it's 9.45 in the morning. I've been calling you for four hours. I thought you went to jail. <laughs> Which I could understand. I've been to jail several times <laughs> in our relationship. She said, get over here right now. And the Crown Royal that I was drinking asked me to ask her if she wanted to go to breakfast. Uh, I go, you want to go to breakfast? She says, get over here right now. And all the men were like, you, you should go. Uh, she looks pissed. Uh, 
You know you're in trouble when your wife comes out in sleepy clothes, no bra. That's some, you're in some shit. Uh, never once have you seen an episode of Cops where a woman's wearing a bra. Never. <laughs> you're in trouble. She says, let's go. And my wife was stomping through the casino. I couldn't keep up because I was going like this. I was in so much trouble walking through the MGM Grand that other men, while I was walking by, were getting in trouble. <laughs> other women were like, look at him, you piece of shit. Look at him, are you gonna be like that? How are you gonna be like that? Remember last time we came to Vegas, you motherfucker, he did that shit to me. Her tits are out, poor girl. She's over there picking them up and throwing them out. I got that shit.